usually have like a point of sight. I'm brain dead. They've got me on a course for um, parenting children with difficulties. And um, it's 10 years too late, really. Ooh, hold on. As I was saying, dishwasher engineers just left. The course is about 10 years too late, but there's still some value to be had. It's just hard going. And now I am making a bake while tart because it's Bake Off tonight. I'm melting the butter in the microwave and it always takes so much longer than you anticipate. And if you don't stand and watch it, it can start to splutter everywhere. Homemade raspberry jam. It's a little bit I had left over from making Sue her jam. She's got cancer and she can't eat the raspberries. So I said, I said, Sue, I'll pick your raspberries and I'll make jam with it and you can have it when you're better. And this is the little bit that wouldn't fit in the jar. Ooh, looks very Halloween-y. Is that enough, do you think? It says a thin layer, but nothing's thin round here, except for my hair. In here, I've got 125 grams of caster sugar, melted butter, and ground almonds, with half a teaspoon of almond extract, I think that's it. Shop bought sweet cusp pastry. I ordered puff pastry and they substituted it with short crust sweet pastry. No complaints from me. I think I overdid it with the jam, guys. Try and trap it in. throw this onto the base of the agar and that will make the base of the pastry crispy. And it goes. Good luck. Bunny and I are going on our walk and since it is the... <laughs> there she is waiting. Since it is the season of ever-changing beauty, I'm going to just pause and show you all the things that catch my eye. First off, that rain cloud has caught my eye. Come on, buddy, let's hot foot it. Well, I haven't got very far. <laughs> I'm not even out of the gate. And the colour of my jasmine weeds, tracheospermum, has caught my eye. I'm out of the gate now, and my hebe has caught my eye. <laughs> I won't get very far if I keep stopping. Often when I come in this field, there's a deer. Not today. This is the field and these are the bushes where I picked my slow berries to make my slow gin. I did take some video and if it's not too boring to have hours and hours, minutes and minutes of, is that windy? Minutes and minutes of footage with music over the top, then I'll pop it in here. Oh, 
are these? Can someone tell me? And can I cook with them or make a jam or some such? Oh no, they've got the wire up. That means Chris is going to put the baby bulls in here. I don't like it when the baby bulls are in here. Is that something? What's that then? They look like tiny weeny cranberries. Are they hawthorn? Is that a hawthorn? Oh, I'm going to Google this. I like the hairy bits. And I like these bits. That's those berries close up, look. I might eat them. <laughs> they look tasty. And then we've got lots of blackberries coming along. I don't really like blackberries though. I need to come out with some succotairs. I just got attacked by the brambles. That's why I don't like blackberries. I don't really like the seeds. I don't really like the flavour. I like Ribena though, but that's black currant, isn't it? Oh look, getting some berries on this holly, that orange at the moment. Christmas is coming. I call this the Avenue of Wilderness. It's much darker than it looks on screen. I'm excited because these are my favourite apples and they're looking lovely. Not as abundant as last year though, which is a shame. Hello, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a smell of something nice? <laughs> Making me dizzy. I ended up unable to show you lots of things that I liked on my walk because tape and it was really windy so um I gave up and it's now 25 past three I've got to go to the decorating centre to get some primer and I thought just before I go I'll pick my tomatoes well I've picked my tomatoes but no that's not true I thought I'll just pop the compost the stuff for the compost outside so when I did that, I then went to put the the, bot, the bucket in the greenhouse and I thought, oh, I'll just pick these tomatoes because they're nice and ripe. So I picked them and then I thought I'd better just chop these leaves off. Mm -hmm. 25 minutes later, where does the time go? You just go into the, go into the greenhouse, it's like a time warp continuum or whatever it's called. Right, so in here we have got, these are supposed to be black, but they're not. Then there's these, then I've got some San Marzano's, and then there's some, some of these ones. Mm -hmm. These ones were from Blue, Little Red Robin. Oops, that's not a good one to show you. That one. Um, I need to Google, do tomatoes, oh, I better eat that one. Do tomatoes need sunlight or heat to ripen? Because I've got lots of green ones. These, I'm gonna make these into pasta sauce. They need warmth. So before I go on my school run, I'm gonna go and shut my greenhouse doors. Keep them nice and toasty cozy. And I cut off all the leaves, so hopefully blight won't become an issue. <sighs> So what's left today? Today I'm going to go to the decorating centre, pick Wilfred up, cook the supper. I've just dragged some bolognese out of the freezer. Um, put some icing sugar on the bake while tart. It's bake off tonight, so we're going to sit and watch that. And I'm going to start putting the hallway back together because Bob's almost finished. I shall miss him when he's gone. But I won't miss his whistling. Because <laughs> there's no tune to it. He's just... 
He chats away to himself and then he goes, <laughs> never ever whistles a tune. Well, I am glad the dishwasher is mended. I had to take off this plinth, had to unscrew it, take it off, take that drawer out, unscrew it there so that I could pull it off. Oh, it's awkward. And while I was down here, look, this is how much our kitchen needs repainting. It's mullered. Look at it. All the way along. It all needs redoing. And we need to decorate because we've had a flood. Well, roof leak. It's like this all the way along there. Um, I don't fancy doing it. I said to Bob, I said, hey, Bobble, do you fancy painting this? And he said, no, I don't. <laughs> so he won't do it either. I've forgotten to put my window mounted um, phone holder in the car. <sighs> Tell you what, decorating is not cheap, especially if you're trying to be a little bit environmental <laughs> and you're trying to avoid the VOCs. I think it's very important in bedrooms and large areas to try and avoid VOCs. Um, but the last time we decorated our hallway was, we just did the paint on the walls. It was five years ago. And for a hallway uh, as you used as much as ours, I don't think it's done too badly, really. So can you, Mum, you can't really hear well. What have you got there, Bill? Lucy. I know, I can't hear very, hear, hear very well. Very hear well. What do we call Lucy? Uh, What's she shaped like? A rat. I mean, fat. No. What? An egg. Oh, yeah. She's like an egg, isn't she, Bill? Got confused with a We've rat. We've got the lights on dim, haven't we, Bill? Mm. So that she can come out. But it means that the camera's not picking up very good. It's not a very crisp picture. And, um,. Yeah, because of the decorating, there's stuff everywhere. Hey, Lucy. I love her so much. Yeah. Bill, she's eating me. Is she really? Hello, little egg. Hello, little egg. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, I just want to kiss you all the time, Lucy. Fat egg. Oh, I love her. She's so precious. So precious. Oh, Margo. what's going on, Margot? <laughs> oh, look at her Mom, little face. We're giving her so much attention, Margot. Oh, I think you're right, Bill. Right. Just cut my school's name. Good boy. Look at this little thing. Look at her. She's so like she's splatted. <laughs> Do you want her again, Bill? No. No? You're done, are you? Yeah, I need a bath, though. Go on, then. Oh, I just Please love her so much. Away, Let's pop her away. Me? <laughs> Here she goes. She likes to walk up around the room. Oh, Mum, she's doing a dust bath. Oh. I'm going for her little bed. And then she'll go and get into her woven bed. Oh, look at 
she's so sweet look at her here she goes and now she's gonna tuck herself into bed well might do look oh i love her she's so cute look oh oh i couldn't love you more look at the little thing yeah there's little timmy hey timmy little timmy do you want me to get him out or can you do it? No, I'm just going to stroke him. Alright, well, I think he liked to come out. Well, I'm the boss. Hey, Timmy. Come on, then. He's on his wheel. Come on, little Timmy. Oh, see you later. Little Timmy, doesn't he look like Stuart Little? He's so cute. Do you want to cuddle with little Timmy? No, I'll stroke him again. I want him in like a cat stroke. I'm really loud. Oh, I love him. Hello, darling. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Please nobody tell me that giving him a kiss is going to make me die because I can't stop kissing them. They won't kill you, Mum. I love them so much. When they die, I'm going to stuff them. Taxidermy. <laughs> Look at their little feet. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm going to play with you properly. I can't believe I haven't had hamsters before, ever in my life. Look how cute they are. <laughs> you gonna kiss my ear? Margot's pacing around because she thinks, Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one of those tasty little morsels. I'm going to eat it. Look at their little feet. Oh, little Timmy, I love you so much. Hi. Hey, Daddy, do you want to come on my hand? Hello. I'm going to show you something really sweet now. I just pop little Timmy in there and then he will run over to this little dust bowl. Timmy. Mum, at least she went back in the bed. She's in, is she? Oh, yeah, I saw her. Then he'll have a drink. Oh, you are sweet. <laughs> it's bedtime now. We've all watched the Bake Off. I totally forgot to film the cake. The Bakewell tart, so I'll show you it now. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, it's just a Bakewell tart, it's not especially pretty, but look. That is a crisp bottom. Oh, I wish I hadn't just put that in my mouth. Silly me. Right. Night, night.